Is that the PG Scorch? That is the PG that Geo, is the dude. the PG Scorch. The one and only. And right off the bat, just using uh, Donkey Kong's grounded up B to, to power through the side B from, from Sonic. I wonder if he's going to just keep doing that or if it's just... Well, it breaks out of worked. combos, gets a little bit of damage, and then hopefully his partner can cover his landing. And either way, it did kind of work. Yep, look at that. Yeah. He's just not having any of it. Just armors through everything. <laughs> it looks like their, their strategy right now is to back air and up B through things <laughs> while Zero Suit does other stuff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're keeping the percents pretty even. So. Yeah, and it's, that's really good against two characters that can just combo the heck out of Donkey Kong. Like, yeah. It's not even fair, almost. <laughs> Man, oh, but he's going for those hard reads. Yeah, but if you get those hard reads, it doesn't even get punished too hard for them, and if it works... If it fits the chips? Yep. Ooh. Yeah, so percents are still very even for both teams. And just like what we saw with Horse and uh, Quentin, we're seeing a lot of just 1v1s on the edge of the stage. Like, they believe that they can handle each other instead of just doing a teamwork. Oh, and wow. he punches through the super armor hitting his own partner. Insane in the membrane. I do know that teams that like to do the 2v1, or the just trying to do 1v1s, is because they haven't played a lot together. So their synergy's a little bit off. Yep, and I think uh, that's definitely the case for Weasel and Scorch, but I don't know really how much all You mean uh, and Felix uh, and Scorch? You said yeah. Weasel. Oh, Sorry. and he gets the, the double footstool. Yikes. That is definitely something Felix loves doing ever, ever since he found out about it. And he's very good at doing it, too. Was, Felix, it, off, was it off a of fair? I, didn't, I actually missed it. It was a fair footstool into a footstool. Wow. Definitely one of the things Felix loves doing with Fox. Well, neat. Felix is one of those players that's just, his execution is just incredibly fluid. Well, oh. right now, honestly, it's anyone's game. We got a, uh, we got Solid Ollie. That's their name, apparently. Kind of like Taco Forge. Weasel. <laughs> <Against Forge. laughs> hey, if that's actually their names, I'm going. That's beautiful. No, that's but, uh, actually great. Both fo both teammates of Forge oh, are really tech. close to a dead. Oh. Oh. And they're going hard for the edge guards off of the side view of, of Fox, which. I don't know if I really agree, but nice conversion from uh, from Donkey Kong to Zero Suit's back air. But the bad DI yep. will clinch it for Donkey Kong, and he takes yep. stock. Now, what, yep. what Solid Minus needs, needs to do is just play really safe, play back, he just and needs to punish anyone that tries to combo his Donkey brother. He just needs to let Donkey Kong just kind of stand in front. But he gets footstooled. He does avoid the second footstool, though. Excellent. He learned from that's, the first time. That's called adaptation. But Solid Mid does get it up smash by Felix. And here comes the Scorch. And nope. Never Back mind. air gets beat out. It's really hard to edge guard Donkey Kong. The food. And they're just they're just not gonna let him play. They're just gonna stand middle stage, they're not gonna really venture too far out and then And again it's up air up air. And uh Donkey Kong is now at kill percent. And oh he's and really I don't fishing for that. I don't really I did agree not agree with that, with that at, all. at all. He's at nineteen percent. Oh Rogue's shield, but oh, he gets the re grab. So Very good. That was maybe good. that was a bait. I'm gonna re I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that he did that on purpose. No, Larry did not enter dubs. But, uh, yeah, honestly, having that Fox Fair when you have a 2v1 situation against a Donkey Kong that does have a pretty good spike, you could die at your 19%. I don't really agree with going for that at all, especially when you have such an advantage. Yeah. However, if he did get the spike, that would have been a regrab. Scorch could have just have smashed him anyway. Yeah. It could have been a bait again. I don't think it was. Yeah, uh, probably not. But you know what? I'll say it was, and they're amazing. Yeah. Maybe they're secretly evil geniuses. Who knows? Either way, now we're on FD. I think, no. honestly, Ollie's going to have to switch to Diddy Kong if they do take another game. Yeah, Ollie does have a very good Diddy Kong. Yeah, he doesn't like using it as much. Ollie. Yeah, but not. yeah, I honestly don't think that Donkey Kong against these two characters is ever going to really yeah. click, you know? Yeah. Very like, situational character. And there's really not much you can do besides Uppy to get away from fast characters that combo hard like this. But he, he is lucky that he has a partner that is really fast that can go save him. But still, but she's getting caught up on her own stuff as well. Yeah. Oh, and he lands into that fully charged up smash by Sonic. And I've noticed something. DK Ollie seems to always throw out a fair before he tries to snap the ledge. Yeah, anticipating he, someone's going out for him. He really wants to punish them for just trying way too hard. Yeah. Maybe he's afraid of the fair footstool. 
That up smash does not kill DK. Yeah, I kind of do not agree with the stage choice, honestly. But then again... No platforms. You like, can't really get destroyed too, too hard. Because, like, both of these characters benefit really hard from platforms, but then there's also a fox. Exactly. A fox against a Donkey Kong. I think <laughs> a, a, to, the Donkey Kong upper. really outweighs the, the fox, the, the zero suit yeah. in this. I mean, just gets us a raw up -y. Very good. He's gone for that a few times, and they really haven't punished him too hard on it, so he's just kept going for it. Yeah, until they give him a reason to stop. Why stop? And that was a very unsafe up B by DK Ali. Yeah, he's been throwing out quite a bit of up Bs, just like above the ground as well. Kind of almost for no reason. Well, because... Oh, oh ride the wave. Scorch. Scorch. Oh, what a that, madman. That is something he's been working on a lot. That was really neat. Yep. I don't think I've ever seen him do that before. Yeah, he can actually go down and get another or another footstool after the dare. Wow. But it's DK. He can't recover high, so he just came back. Yeah, it's really good. He's, he's able to get that consistently. Nice. It's really good for him. Been putting in the work then, huh? Yep. I like that decision, just making sure his teammate gets back safely. And oh, I'm ding. protecting him for the ding-dong. I believe that was the first ding-dong of the set. Yeah, they did oh, a really good job that time of actually up making sure that his teammate was safe enough to get that grab. And then he catches him with the uppy. Up, DK's up uppy offstage like that is actually pretty strong. Yeah, just the startup of it though. First yeah. hit. Oh, Ooh. the, the, the double Sonic back really needs to live right here. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh. Ollie does and recover and he okay. gets back heard. All right, another two v one. Really unfortunate for them. Yeah, little bit of miscommunication on the recovery. Did not lead to a lot. Oh, he wants to get the the lock. They're going for the ping pong right now, and I don't really know what too much uh, zero soup needs to do against these two because no matter what she does, the other one's going to punish her. Yeah, They're just too fast. Like up tilt, and then you get up tilted. Nair, you get grabbed. They're just they're covering each other very well for the first time they've ever teamed. Yeah. yeah. They did take out Taco Weasel, and so I mean they are. And Taco Weasel, I believe, was fourth seed. Yeah. Because they, they are static. They are very good. They got second at Rise, our regional. That and I don't right. remember what month that was, but yeah, they got second they, at Rise. Oh. Almost friendly fire killing. Wow, and they're just almost... Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, Scorchy. Oh. That's all right. Scorch is going to just play it's this lamb. People just heckling Scorch from the crowd now. Yeah. But uh, it's like yeah, he just he, he just wants to uh, make sure he doesn't get grabbed, doesn't doesn't really fall for any tricks like a neutral air to down B true combo. <laughs> yeah, oh, zero oh. suit. Oh, he's just, just springing out of that. But that that landing. Oh man, if he yeah. covered the landing with a grab, I think he had him. You know, of course, just sacred percentage. I think he's I think he's ready to start playing lame. He just kind of running out, running in, just trying to bait him to do something. Trying to bait out a grab, possibly. Oh, Scorch is oh. off the sacred percent and oh, barely gets that shield out. Oh, oh a footstool. Totally intentional footstool. <laughs> yep. And oh, he's he got him with the up smash. smash. Let's go. He Solomon was jumping around a lot, and I guess that was a best of. Best of oh, they thought it was it a is. best of three, but it's a best of five. It was a best of five. Rip. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Scorch indeed. All this fighting's tearing us apart. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So, the Forge is now up. A nice 2-0. Look at those eyes. Those eyes, eyes, eyes on his shirt, just staring death. <laughs> I think they might be repositioning. I know that. Uh, <laughs> the. Um, I know the brothers, DK Ali and Takahide, they both really don't like sitting at, like, not right in front of the TV. Yeah, so if you notice that he was actually standing for those first two games, I guess he's going to sit now. Yeah. But, yeah. He is apparently comfortable with standing and playing, but who, why stand when you can sit? Yeah, I'm not about that life. Yeah, same. I, I am not Hungrybox or Kiroflux. Because apparently he does, they both like to stand, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hungrybox, like, stands when he's getting really into it. I think Kiro always just stands. Something like that. Something. I'm not anyway, sure. It looks like they're going back to FD. I guess they just thought there wasn't really the stage. There's just a few flubs here and there. Yeah, because, I mean, without uh, the team kill towards the end there, 
Donkey Kong and Zero Suit would have been around the same stocks. They just kind of destroyed themselves, really. Yeah. Oh, and DK Ollie just throwing out those fares. Oh, that forward smash. He. Oh, six like singles is going to be going on in the background, so yeah. I guess all the rest of the doubles might be on stream. I guess so. Um, Interesting. I think the winner of this play is the winner of Q&A versus us. Oh. Yeah, so I like how Solomon was doing a very good job just covering DK Ollie. Just right there, just shooting out paralyzers. And that's what he really needs to do to win this. Yeah, they just need, they need to play slow. They, they need, need to, to not go off stage like that. Yeah. Once they get one of them off stage, they need to focus the other one because they're slippery and they need to make sure they get every chance that they have. Yeah, these two characters are very fast for the blue team. Because if they, they see a mistake, they can go like, cover it. But I think uh, one thing that's actually been hurting them is they both try to cover the same mistake in the 2v2s. And they've been hitting each other and not really capitalizing as much as they could if they had more synergy. Yeah, that, that's just a lack of like oh, working together. But they be, it is something that is relevant in this setup right now. It is. Cause like you oh, can't. Oh, he just grabs him so we couldn't shield. That was pretty good. And then he gets back here. So now stock count is in favor for the red team. Solid is going to try to hold the stock. Just and then Ooh, up never mind. Commentator's curse. I hate that so much. I don't want to believe it's real, but I think it is. It has to be. Yeah. I actually hate when people say commentator's curse. I don't know why. It's really nothing bad. I don't <laughs> like it. Maybe because I don't like the curse. Yeah, no one likes the curse. But, Ooh, back air to up air. We're seeing a lot less uppies and more back airs from DK Ollie right now. Yeah, That's they're, looking pretty good. They're just playing a lot slower. They're just DK's trying to space. We got those patented side Bs from PG Scorch. No, you can see how, like, uh, solid Ollie right there. The uh, solid mid knew that his partner was going to take the punish, so he almost wanted to jump into it, and then he just let the DK take the hit. Which isn't bad as long as they don't take too many. Yeah. Oh, he gets oh. the fair that time. Oh, and he's re grabbing. We're good. A good back air. Donkey Kong's off stage. Oh, oh goes that was for the stage spike and barely misses the ledge. Indeed. Ollie's starting to get a little roll happy. Yep, and oh. he gets caught on it right there. He's also getting a little bit upbeat happy. He's been throwing those out a lot again. And they, they just need to... Uh, again. Yep. Well, that one was good because that one he was, was going to get up tilted. And his partner was there to cover him, so that was very good. Oh, back throw? Oh. That'll, yep. that'll kill. And now we're even stocks. And Fox is uh, very close to death. He's definitely at ding-dong percentage, I think, because yep. he is a fast faller yeah, Felix with no rage. Felix really needs to hold on to the stock. Look out for the grabs from Donkey Kong and oh, oh the back air. One thing I noticed from uh, Felix is like I don't think he necessarily has the doubles awareness yet that he needs to have, yeah. which is just simply because they don't really play doubles too much in Phoenix. But right there, he gets two up tilts on someone when his teammate is in a bad position, and he's gonna get punished for that by the by the other person coming in. And it's like something you gotta really pay attention to. You gotta pay attention to the whole picture, not just what you're doing. That is true. Oh. That's, that's actually the second time I saw him do that too. Uh, one was uh, two games ago, and this one, that one was right there. And it's like so tempting to just like try to tunnel vision and combo the crap out of someone, but... Yeah. At this point, blue team's probably going to be thinking about where they want to take these two. I would take them to Dreamland. Yeah, I feel like Fox is kind of a bigger factor than the Ding Dong on the yeah, platform. absolutely. Because Sonic and Fox, they can just dance around the platforms all day, so getting a grab on that would be really difficult, as long as they're smart about it. Well, to see if they uh, they aren't too scared of the Zero Suit Samus on platforms. Because that's oh, yeah. really going to be what's influencing their pick. And uh, they need I to add your Twitter on there. They do. Steven. Steven. At, under, uh, at DZ underscore SBS. And could I have the CE by oh, no, my name? Actually, no. Steve Witch. Sorry. Like S-T-E. It's DZ underscore Steve Witch. I think. Actually, no, it's DZ SPS. Hello, my man. I'm really dumb. I'm sorry. Could I get the CE by my name, please? Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. You're my favorite. All right, so... They did go to Battlefield, which maybe they just banned Dreamland, or I don't know what exactly they banned, but... Maybe. That would be the second choice. I, I, I like it, actually. Yeah. This way now, Fox can just get those patented up air, up air, up airs. And the one thing you do need to notice, though, is that they have a Donkey Kong that now has a lot more landing options. 
That is true. Now he can safely use those up a little bit better. Exactly. He doesn't have to rely too much on his partner, as long as he's smart about it. Basically anything that they, the one team gains, the, gains from a stage, the other team gains it as well. Yeah. And it's just whoever's using those gimmicks better. Not really gimmicks, just those advantages. We also don't have to... Yeah. We also can't forget that Sonic, on a stage like this, if he gets an up throw on the top platform, can kill like Zero Suit at like 60. Wow. With uh, Spring Up Air. And they're just throwing out up airs. Donkey Kong needs to get in there and help him, but it's too late. Oh, is this going to be a Gimp on Fox? Oh, oh DK Oh, that was untackable. Nice. This is such a good edge guard, and he nares. Yikes. Ooh. The SD from Scorch after the really good Gimp. I think Scorch was just trying too hard to help out his teammate and just kind of ended himself on that. Yep. And DK Ollie's got to be careful because he's been running into forward smashes like crazy, and he almost did it again right there. He did. That timing was just barely perfect, and I don't think he knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's too trusting for a Sonic forward smash. You know, Ali just, he's not even able to get too many grabs so far this side. These two are just so fast. Yeah, they're staying away from him. They're not really holding shield, which is why he's been getting so many uh, up B hits and so many dash attacks on him, but I think they'd really rather have that. Oh, the oh. stage spike? Uh, he went down, and uh, I didn't see the, like, the tech thing. But there Ooh. is the Ding Dong. Ding Dong not going to kill. I believe Scorch is now out of the percent. But here comes a Ding Dong again. Mm. Oh. And now he's out of the percent, too. They can be a little bit less scared from a grab middle of the stage, but they don't want to get grabbed at the edge. Back throw is now a, a factor again. Up tilt probably will kill next time he, he does it on Sonic. Definitely will kill on Fox. Yeah, Donkey Kong's up tilt, both of the Kong's up tilts are very, very strong for no reason whatsoever. They got those strong biceps and triceps. <laughs> but Diddy Kong's a very lanky fellow. Either way. Have you seen monkeys? They, they are pretty strong. You're right. Oh. God, I gotta say I love the cotton candy Donkey Kong. It's definitely underrated. But, uh, really? He's just doing too many. Oh, oh up air to up spring up air. And I believe Felix got an oh. up smash. I didn't see. And then and a I don't random know if up I really smash. I really saw going off stage so quickly, or going back to stage so quickly, but he does get the kill, so that's nice. Well, you did see Scorch doing a random up smash for no reason. Yeah. And uh, he got the punish. Yeah, oh. really no reason, honestly. Mm. That I, I, I actually killed. can't even think of why. Yeah. You now Felix might be at ding dong percent. He might be at up or up air up or up B percent for oh. zero suit. He goes for the spring. Does not get it though. Oh, going for these up airs. He's just trying not to let zero suit hit the ground, which he does manage to get back. Now Ends up nearing his own partner. Whoever loses this first stock here is going to be really key. Is it going to be Fox or is it going to be Donkey Kong? Yeah, it and looks like it's oh. not Fox. The DI. Oh, oh my goodness. hands. That was a really good avoidance of the back air, though. Yeah, this next oh. stock is very key. This could either bring it to a game five or just end it for him right now. Because a 2v1 right now. Hold up forward smash. This is game four. This is game four. Forge was up 2-0. And then they lost the last game. Oh. Ooh. And it looks like Scorch is no. just keeping that percent really well, and wow, Zero Suit dies off the top, and that could be it. As we see this really big Donkey Kong just kind of standing there, they're just going to let him approach. Yeah, because what can Donkey Kong do? If he does anything, he'll just get punished by the other person. And he can't just sit there and hold shield, because then all of a sudden, look at that, here comes a Sonic with a really easy throw to combo off of. And, and there it is. The patented Felix upper. Works one, works about 50% of the time, all, all the time. The time. All right, good stuff by Forge. You know, for being the first time they've ever teamed together, it's it's actually pretty good. Synergies have, needs a little bit of work, but yeah, no, they're they're doing very well. Yeah, they're definitely I doing well. We're up next. Uh, we might be. Yeah, I see. I see a horse sitting down. If we have to play Q and A, then that it would is. be us. So. All right, hey.